shine on diamond don't make me wait another day cause passion is passion you know it just as well as me so let's stop running from love running from love let's stop my baby Running from us, running from us. Let's stop, my baby. Oh, my, my, my. I die every night with you. Oh, my, my, my. I'm living for. just as much as me so let's stop running from love running from love let's stop my baby and let's stop running from us running from us let's stop my baby oh my
That's Mike. Give it up for Mike. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. Thank you so much for coming and being here at Joe's Pub tonight. I uh, really, really am happy you're here. <laughs> this is uh, very special. We, uh, we decided to steal a song from Troy Savon to open the show just because I love him so much. Like, he embodies such a beautiful queer spirit of like joy and like positivity and like the best kind of sexuality to me. And I think he's just like living life so boldly. It's so neat to see such uh, like a young kid like living his full dream and his big queer self out there. So Troy, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. It's so awesome to be queer in New York, man. This place. <laughs> Woo! And I live I live in Portland, Oregon, so I flew out I flew out here uh, with my guy. My guy Nathan's here. Nathan, thanks for walking me to the show tonight. Sweetheart, wherever you are. Uh, and it's like it's just so neat to be walking around here and like I don't have to think about holding hands with anybody. I just, you, just, you can hold hands with whoever you want. You can hold hands with three people here if you want. <laughs> It's just, uh, it's so nice. Thanks for making such an awesome city that you can just be yourself in. Like, it's just so awesome. Uh, for some reason, I decided to put my bad date song on the second part of the show. So we're going to get this out of the way. No one's on a bad date here. I'm sure it's not. It's just not. It's just, it doesn't really happen at Joe's Pub. You don't go on a bad date. But if you've ever been on a bad date or recently have been on one or you're dating somebody that you're not sure is, like, worth your time and you're like, well, maybe they'll come around. This is my message to you. Move on. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the intro to this song. seem distracted I couldn't tell you which way is up or how I got here it seems I've fallen into the same trap as last time but the last time was the last time so I said Sure is kind of you to lend a hand to my hand and tell me all the little things that friends say to friends. But could I ask you to stay for one more? Cause there's one more thing that's been weighing on my mind. Why does my lover seldomly seem to be wishing on the same moon as I do? What started out as a dream got broken by a cold shoulder. Love, doesn't it seem strange to me laughing at the same time as you don't? Oh, but you won't bother when I do. No, you won't bother when I do, will you? The roll of your eyes, a disdainful remark. That look of embarrassment at all my little joy. We're getting lost in the music Cause there's a melody playing And I'm guessing you'll never hear It would do us no good To talk this over, baby I could toss a million times But you 
would never catch my drift. You didn't even seem to notice. I noticed, and I left there wondering why does my love suddenly seem to be wishing on the same moon as I do? Oh, it started out as a dream Got broken by a cold shoulder Oh, now love, it doesn't seem strange I mean, laughing at the same time As you don't Oh, but you won't bother when I do No, you won't bother when I do Come on, Mike Will you? That's a good message for life. You gotta keep the good people around you, man. Life's too short to be, I mean, you gotta give people grace, of course. I need a lot of it. Just ask my boyfriend. But uh, honestly, but like, just keeping the wrong people around you, man, I'm just, I'm, I just turned 49. It's like my birthday celebration, so <laughs> thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, this is like, like my extended birthday thing, and that's what I'm carrying into this next year. It's like, dude, just, like keep the great people around you. Go be a part of something awesome. Like, and then just like let other people learn what they need to learn. That's, what, that's the way I need to see it. Sometimes I'm that guy. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. Let me get one here. I'm gonna do a little country song for you guys. I got one of them, so I'll figure out do it here. We we're trying to figure out what to wear backstage. I was like, blacks. It's New York. Black. Black T-shirt. Black. Everything black. Different shades of black. And then Mike pulls out this Donkey Kong shirt. He's like, I was thinking about wearing this. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm like, this is what I wear to work. I'm like, I'm like, I need a fancy, like, soft, colorful T-shirt. Mike, thanks for inspiring us just to be ourselves. Um, yeah, all right. Well, well, we'll do this little country song for you. Um, let's see if we got this on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I wrote this country song in London, England. And... Uh, you may have heard me tell this story if you've been to the show before, but if you haven't, I'll just clue you in real quick. This, uh, I had met somebody that I thought was really sexy at this club called XXL, and I think they still do XXL. I'm not sure if they still, yes? Okay, that's good. Um, 
it's kind of a like a I don't know it was like a big dance party like thousands of guys underground somewhere I don't know and there's this one dude wearing like a vest and corduroys like looking like he was going to a Joni Mitchell concert and I was like that's the guy I want to talk to <laughs> and I did and uh, he invited me home we had a wonderful evening together and he wanted to keep having a wonderful time together but he had to work so he said why don't you just hang out at my house and I'll be back you know in a few hours and I was like you don't know me I mean, I'm a good guy, but you didn't know that for sure. Um, you only knew a few things about me. And uh, I was like, I could be, you know, when you come out, I, I could burn your house down. And uh, he was like, I don't think you're going to do that. And I didn't. And I sat in the, his kitchen and I wrote this little song. And I, and I looked at all his weird things on the wall. One of them was like a little robots that you wind up and they like walk around real crazy. So um, anyway, uh, this song's called House on Fire.
I don't do concerts very often anymore because I'm uh, just busy doing like some other stuff, but like, I just love coming and playing music, and it's something I did like all the time for 10 years. And then I'm always nervous to book a show because I'm like, maybe they've heard those songs enough and they don't want to come and hear the songs anymore, but then you show up and it makes me really want to come and do this more often, so thank you. That's real nice. I told you this, I, I was born in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, I grew up, it's funny, I sing a country song, I'm all, all of a sudden my Texas roots come out. Both my folks are born and raised in Texas, um, so I feel like I've, well, I know I've got, you know, ancestral southern, you know, American blood in my body, um, and, uh, but St. Louis, uh, Missouri was kind of where I landed when I was 10, and thank God I found a choir, because choir was the only place I felt real normal or, or, or regular. Um, unfortunately, they they took me to the wrong church. I think there's a lot of great churches out there, but there's a lot of ones that aren't great to go to, and especially if you're queer. And the one that I went to was not at all like friendly, and they were just very misinformed about who queer people are. Um, and later in life, you know, thankfully I'm old enough and I I survived. You know, like I made it. Like, and I know many of you have some similar stories like that. But my heart uh, just kind of goes out for all those kids that are still having to go, you know, or, or maybe they were like me and they kind of, they believed it. Like they didn't just like go and go, oh, I don't like this. I was like, I was like, I went and I was like, oh, there's something wrong with me, you know? And I really, really tried to change it. I'm so glad that it didn't work because, <laughs> like, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. So this song is kind of like about finding your way and where you belong. And uh, yeah, if anybody, anybody out there is wondering if they should stick around, I'd say stay in the river. Just let, let it come, let it bring you downstream a little more. There you Something is sinking just below. The warning is real. And it's under on the surface like a splinter you see but can't feel. And now
lovely to sing for it's uh it's kind of nice to get to go deep into your soul with people and thank you because there's so much music that happens on the stage i'm just like looking over at this wall here and just like fucking janelle monet like come on how am i getting to be here i know why like it's just stars align and you go and live your dreams and just share your heart with people and then like awesome stuff happens like that's just the way it works but still i'm like kind of <laughs> pinching myself <laughs> so. So I think I told you I was busy doing other stuff. Um, you may, know, may or might not know that I spent a lot of my time hanging out with elementary school students these days. So I go, uh, I have this awesome job where I team up with like another musician that has like a, just a beautiful heart and soul for helping people just have a space to thrive. And um, these two guys started this amazing program called Youth Equity Stewardship, which spells yes. At the end, if you look at it like that, and it's pretty cool. We take over a whole gym for two days at an elementary school, and I bring like every light and speaker and neon rope and projector and like surround sound system, and we vibe it out. It looks like a roller rink rave. <laughs> like, 
where I wanted to go to school, basically. We turned all their lights off. We've got these like dimmable lighting systems. And like we all set it up not to impress them, but hopefully just to give them a chance to say, hey, tell us a story about you. And at the end of two days, oh man, I'm getting choked up thinking about it. It is so gorgeous to see a fifth grader like kind of look around and maybe after like three or four hours go, I'm like, okay, I'll tell you something about me. You know, and they get to know their teachers better uh, by doing it that way. And like, they just kind of like open up to each other. And at the end of two days, I mean, I hope we planted a seed really just to say like, hey, you could do school like this where you, you really care about the spirit. School spirit is great, but like, how about the spirit of the school? Like the spirit that you have at school? Like that, that is something my friend Wade taught me. And I was like, it's really stuck with me. So uh, I, I, I'm busy like taking that on the road. And then, um, I'm also getting to go on the road, like it's just brand new with this documentary series that I made. I think some of you have even helped me do it. It's called Queer AF, Queer as Fundamental. <laughs> Queer people have been presented as many things. I think we're fundamental. So my F stands for fundamental, but the kids are like, Queer AF, yeah. Um, no, I don't even know if they say that anymore, but we, we named it that uh, because we do really, no, all jokes aside, we, we think queer people, and uh, as, a, you know, alongside everyone else is just necessary and important to be here. We're here for a reason. So um, this documentary series I made with my brother called Queer AF, uh, we're, we're just brand new taking it on the road and New York is one of the places that we're gonna get to bring it, it's looking like. So, um, and my friend Paul is here. Paul, thank you for like putting it on the road. Give, give Paul like a big round of applause. He's like helping us take it on the road. Yeah, thanks brother. Love you dude. Thanks. It's badass. Yeah, so this one's going out to um, all my fifth graders that I met and all the ones I haven't got to meet yet uh, who just want to dance with somebody. <laughs>
I think I mentioned to you that uh, my guy's here with me. His name is Nathan. He's the best fucking man you could ever ask for. He like puts up with a zillion things of me <laughs> uh, that are not that fun to be around, to be honest. But uh, Nathan, I love you so much. Thank you for making your way to New York with me and holding my hand um, when I'm crying and when I'm scared and also when I'm laughing my ass off and taking little vis videos of me dancing at a dance concert because you like how I move so <laughs> you're my handsome man I love you this one's for you
this, uh, this next song is uh, it's called Rescue, and uh, I rarely ever get to play with other musicians in my life, to be honest. Uh, it's, it's so hard to find people that will make the time and make the effort to come and do it, and Mike drove, like, I don't know, like three or four hours just to get here, like, showed up here at 8.30, like, like just to be here. And Mike, thank you so much for coming and joining us tonight. Uh, it's making music with you is such a dream, man. And also just making music with another gay man who just has like a big heart for music and a big heart for the world, dude. Like, thank you, Mike. Um, yeah. so, why don't you kick this one off? try again Wouldn't it be easier to straighten out the Tower of Pisa Reflecting on this query I would have to say that any other day Consider a new trajectory Wish I could ask those pilots from the past About the first expeditions so Those men flew right into the night And some were never found I Miss having you around Is this the sky or the ground? Given these man-made vessels my very will Lead us to disastrous collisions With an iceberg or island I think I'll hit 
headed to bed with Venus on some shooting star. Do I want to go to Mars? Write my name out in the stars. Cause I'm right for the rescue. Use the wind, the sand, and the stars to find me. Can you give it up for Mike one more time? He's gonna come back. I promise. What a dream boat, huh? Uh, okay, over here. Uh, oh, sweet talker. Okay, well, since you asked, I don't know if you heard in the front row, you said, is he single? Um, I have it on authority. He, he is single. <laughs> and just looking for the right dude to cozy up with. So, you know, come talk to me. <laughs> don't, or, don't, skip me. Go talk to him. Like, yeah, but if you need to connect with him and you're too nervous to talk to him, I understand. He's really hot. Uh, honestly, yeah. Uh, that's a... Uh, Kind of a joke, but also not. Like, life is short, right? So, <laughs> come on, get your courage ready by the end of the show, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, yeah, this is a. Uh, every time I get to come and share songs with people, uh, there's like, I feel like there's this little kid part of me that got stomped down, and every time I get to do this and just be myself with you, it like heals it a little bit more. And uh, thank you for that. So, this is awesome. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm full of celebration, of course, you know, I'm glad I made it, but if you're in this room, you probably have a heart like mine where it's just like, man, but there's just so many uh, people getting stomped down. Um, I mean, on so many levels, emotional levels, <sighs> physical levels, you know, just wars and bombs and just like pain, you know, here we are like living our lives <laughs> and we have to do it, you know, it's not like we have to I don't think we're the right answer is just to stop living your life, but like, I just want to take a second and just acknowledge how lucky we are to be here tonight together and um, holding space for everybody <laughs> who needs extra support. Yeah. So here, here's a little, this is a little ditty just about um, that first feeling when you first have a crush. And uh, for me, it was in fourth grade <laughs> and uh, it was a school you know a place that I had to hide my school I had to hide who I was but didn't mean I didn't feel those flutters you know wondering if we're on that field trip you know going going to see the Nutcracker at Powell Symphony Hall in St. Louis you know and like all the lights are out and just like there's like an elbow and you're like is that real is that is that is that is he doing that I'm not sure you know you know like and uh that magic, you know, I think you, we, 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 you really can't carry it with you. And um, I want to live in a world where everyone gets to express that magic. So this one's for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
fingers clenching the plastic handle of the lunchbox on the seat I saved for you. I'm kicking off the clumps of snow still clinging to my Velcro. I wonder if you remember you said you'd be my field trip buddy. Come back on I'm balancing elbows You keep pressing so slowly I can't be making this up And the sugar plums Turn to cotton candy In my periphery Our forehead's so close Right there in the back row we're seeing a standing ovation We promise to be each other's field trip buddy Keep you down 
Thank you. <laughs> You're giving me wings, people. You're giving me wings. Oh, man. This, this city is so special to me. Uh, when I first started playing songs, I went to Chicago and New York, and people showed up, like, for real. Like, showed up, drove, flew, trained, like... I was like, you came here for this? <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> uh, and honestly, it's meant the world to me uh, to get to go and do this and to keep doing it. So like, um, I, uh, this city in particular has been given me so much uh, opportunity and chance and welcomed me here that I decided to write a song to you. Um, and you might, have know it, you might know it already, and I'm a little nervous about playing it because I want to do it right. But if I mess up, you know, of course, please give me your New York. You know, <laughs> Like, yeah, get out of the way. No, I'm just kidding. No, but uh, it's, a, it's a love song like to New York, um, and uh, there's a little memory written in there. Um, I, I think I told you I grew up in St. Louis and in choir, and our, our choir uh, took a trip to, gosh, man, we got to go so many places. Like, as a little kid, music is just so incredible. It just, um, and I, we got to go to Russia when I was, like, four, 15, you know, and, like, go meet Russian kids and, like, make music with them and like break dance and like just like hang out and it was like you know of course the concert was the reason but it was all the in-between stuff that you remember you know the most and uh, but uh, I was a little stressed out when I was 15 <laughs> and I didn't remember my passport and back then you couldn't just fly to Russia the next day you had to wait like four days and uh, I thankfully I got to stay in New York for a few days just with me and the travel agent, but the travel agent was busy. And so they were like, look, we're moving, like we're moving to New Jersey and we don't have time to hang out with you. And look, the next flight's not for three days, but our friend will hang out with you and take you around New York City. And I was like, ooh, who's your friend? <laughs> <laughs> and he happened to be a really cute guy that was in the seminary, like studying <laughs> for Jesus. And we had a lot in common. Um, <laughs> And uh, so he took me all around New York, and I'll never, I don't know, I, can't, I'm, I don't even remember his name, but like someday I just hope he knows how, what that meant to me, to like get to like walk around with a handsome guy in New York. So like when you get to that part in the song, now you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> right, here we go. You can't help but feel the music in your feet Yes, even underneath skyscrapers It goes tearing through the ground up through the streets And while they may prefer you not to stay too long Or hang around pictures of them living their lives the New York City people will be glad to share the music for a while and when I first came to New York City I was on my way to Moscow with a choir But at 15 I was forgetful Left my papers in St. Louis How the fates they do conspire And with my handsome chaperone to lead me there he took me to Times Square while the choir did fly to Moscow. Who cares now that I'm here? Oh, let them go. I'll stay another year in New York City where the boys look back when you smile.
And if you go to New York City, don't forget to bring her something in return. She may have mountains like no other, but she's got ruins where the stars forget to burn. And while she may not give you everything you ask, she'll give you what she can. She's busy all. Subway floors. Does she always seem to have room for one more here in New York City? Best birthday ever. <laughs> oh man, thanks man. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, I'm 49 now, right? All my white silver's coming in. It's so good. I love it. I love, I love asking a fifth grader, I'm like, how old do you think I am? Because you never know what they're gonna say. One of them's gonna be like, 32. I'm like, I love you, get over here. Just come sit right here. No, it's fine, I love being 49. But it's when they uh, ask you, they're like, what year were you born? Because we ask them a lot of questions all day. you know. And then at the end of the thing, I, if we have extra time, I'm always like, look, we've been asking you a lot of questions. What questions do you have? And we think, you know, it's never what you think. And they're like, what year were you born? <laughs> and I was like, well, I was born in, I was, I'm 49, I was, I was born in 1975. And they're like, you were born in the 1900s? <laughs> I was like, uh. <laughs> ouch. <laughs> I was like, you're real cute. I'm gonna come back to you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love it. I just think it's amazing. Like, yeah, I was born in the 1900s. Man, I'm just, that's the way it is, man. I'm, and, it's, and it's flying by, baby. You better hang on. So um, anyway, um, speaking of, age and elderly and uh, elderliness. Yeah, like I'm just embodying it. I'm just picturing myself as like an 80 year old dude. Like, I'm, I don't know what it's gonna be like. I'm probably not gonna be able to play that thing anymore. I don't know, who knows? Won't be able to travel around, but uh, I don't know. I just wanna like really live into that vision of what, it's gonna, what I'm gonna look like in my like later, my elder years, like uh, my 80s, 90s. Um, but uh, that's kind of getting me thinking about my grandma and um, my grandma, uh, her name was Betty. Uh, she's my, I've, no, I've, I've had two grandmas, but I got to be closest with one named Betty and the other one I called Nana, but I only got like a few years with her. But uh, this one's going out to, you know, I'll just do it to Betty and grandma because I bet they both love big band music. I just never got to ask my Nana because I was too young to know about big band back then. So this is going out to my grandmas who I don't have with me anymore. And um, uh, I'm gonna steal an arrangement by a beautiful, uh, incredible legend uh, of a jazz singer named Kenny Rankin. And uh, he came up with this arrangement and I kind of like did a little twist on it. And uh, Mr. Irving Berlin wrote the song and so I'll share this with you. Oh, and the only instructions, you probably already know this, but just in case you don't, uh, I'm gonna snap and clap and do like a bunch of rhythm stuff, but I don't want you to. <laughs> just inside, inside, not outside. I will get thrown, you know how I get, I'll get thrown off. Miss a chord, no, so yeah. That's the deal. I'll do the rhythm part. You do the listening part. We'll be good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, and I didn't bring a big band, so I got to do it a cappella. I hope that's all right.
Everything was wrong and the whole day long I'd feel so blue For the longest while I'd forget to smile Then I found Now that my blue days are past, now that I've found you, I'll be loving you always with a love that's true. Always When the things you plan Need a helping hand I will understand Always, always Days may not be fair Always That's when I'll be there Not just for an hour, not just for a day, not just for a year, but always. When the things you plan, they need a helping hand. I will understand always, always. Say the days may not be fair, always. But I, but I, but I do that. That's when I'll be there, always. Oh, not just for. Not just for, not just for, not just for a year, but always I'll be loving you. Put your hands together for Mike Flanagan. Mike, come on back and join us. Come on, Mike. Yeah, that's a man. A few more songs we're here for you, but we're still here for you. Don't worry. Thanks for coming out tonight and being here on this special evening with us. Uh, yeah, this was a this little song that kind of got a little ball rolling for me. If you ever watched a little music video of me in a barbershop when I was much younger, <laughs> you'll know this song. And uh, thanks for listening and sharing it and, and uh, getting this crazy wild ride started. And here we go. This one's called End of the World. Yeah. Yeah.
conversation Then you'd better get out Cause we're climbing to our death At least that's what they want you to think I've got nerves. I'm so sorry. I've got nerves. I've got nerves. I'm going to get over it. Just in case we jump the track, we I have a confession to make. Here we go. But it's something like a corkscrew. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fly. I don't want to be dangled over the edge of a dime. Scream out quite so loudly when we screech to a halt. I'm just never prepared for the end of the ride. Oh, maybe we should get on something simpler like a giant balloon. I've got two tickets left, and so do you. Instead of giving them. Let's make them come, come on, let's get back in line again and ride the big one. Don't you want to fall, don't you want to fly, don't you want to be dangled over the edge of this aching Thank you guys. Uh, that's really sweet. You do. You really did love me through that one. Uh, thanks. No, honestly, yeah, it's it's a it's a real real pleasure, real joy. What, what a freaking awesome thing to get to do together, right, Mike? Mike? Mike was saying this is their fourth time on this stage together. Um, like, thanks for coming and seeing this show. So uh, one of the songs we get to do when I go hang out in fifth grade is this one. And I cannot tell you how special it is to hear fifth graders singing a song that you wrote when you were on a hike with a friend about butterflies. It's like the prettiest thing you could imagine in your life. And like, it's not always easy. Like, you know, singing at school is not like the thing that all kids get to do or think is neat. So like, it's my job to kind of coax them and I usually do pretty well. Um, um, and so like, I tell them a story about um, going on the Pacific Grove coast with my friend Peter, who's no longer with us, because a lot of what our conversations, what we do with kids, are like helping them through hard things and to remember that there's still joy in the world. So um, yeah, so like, uh, I tell them a story, like, you know, like, picture yourself in the redwood forest, and there's like mist coming through, and you're on your hike with your friend, you look up, and I'm like, look up at the gym, imagine the trees are like, you know, twice as tall as this gym, and they're just like, looking up, and I was like, and then imagine you could see like, billions of monarch butterflies just waiting to take their first little journey 
and like so many butterflies that they're weighing the branches down you know like they're so heavy redwood forest just like bending the branches and and then telling them like how cool it is that they're going to wake up and it's going to take four generations for them to get all the way from like california to alaska and like they're going to you know they're going to pass along all this information in their on their journey but then something magic happens the fifth generation wakes up in alaska on this particular migration route flies all the way home to california in one lifetime one little butterfly every five generations they don't know how it happens they don't know how what miracles are going on but something inside those little beings say hey i know where i'm supposed to go but it's not just california it's the same grove of trees it's the same trees in that grove same branches on those trees like tell me there's not ancestral like wisdom love care like just running through all of us you know like you're just and so like i like tell them like look you're just like that you've got something inside of you that says you know where you're supposed to be um and so then i get them to sing the song with me so i teach them the chorus and since uh you're not off the hook. I know all of you have your fifth grade inside you. I'm going to teach the chorus right now. We'll see if you like want to get your little voice out. You don't have to sing loud. You can sing quiet where you are. But if you were a modern butterfly, you might say something like this if you're waking up from your long sleep and about ready to be a butterfly. You'd say, and we're off. So say, and we're off. And we're off. Heading home now. Heading home now. And I'll sing a little part that says, and in my body there is buried some strange memory of how to fly. What to follow. That's right. And it will lead me to the origin of me. So now you know the words. You probably already know the melody. I want to make sure I'm on the right uh, key here. I'm on seven, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, get your little voice out and sing with us. Um, and uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Oh, we also, we didn't have a band, a full band, because we like doing duo, but we're just going to like bring on the band and the speakers on this one. So, uh, yeah, get ready. on the song 
songs of old and wiser ones who flew this path before me. And if you hear it too, then why not sing it? Pick up where they left off and wing it. The rest of them will marvel at the sky. Here we go. Thank you all so much. <laughs> It's been amazing. Mike, get over here. Well, thanks. That's sweet. Uh, we'll do one more for you, and then uh, come hang out with us over in the uh, hallway there. And, you know, meet Mike. <laughs> there you go. Uh, we're going to steal another song here. Uh, this one's stolen, but, uh, man, just a, a hero of mine musically. Um, and uh, you'll know who it is, I won't tell you, but uh, we'll leave you with this last stolen song in New York. But thank you for... Uh, spending your night with us. You could be a lot of places. And uh, hey, if you ever want to know more about this uh, schoolwork that I'm doing, come hang out on, my, on uh, my little website. It's like mattalbert.com. I'm going to put up some new links soon. Um, and if you have a phone handy, you can pull it out right now, actually, and type in queeraf.tv. Queer, uh, just say it with me. Queeraf.tv. Now you, I don't have to print flyers. You just know where it is. Um, <laughs> But go there, check it out, and if, you, if anybody in this room is connected to a school or knows a principal or a superintendent or something like that, please just uh, send them our way, because we want to take this uh, to every school we can, just to have some awesome conversations. So, all right, here we go. Here's a little 
song I wrote You might want to sing it No, but no, don't worry Be happy In every life There comes some trouble But when we worry We make it double Don't worry Be happy Ain't got no cash, ain't got no style, ain't got nobody to make you smile. Well, don't worry, be happy. Oh, cause when you worry, your face will frown, and I will bring everybody down. So don't. some trouble but when you worry you make it double don't worry mm -hmm. be happy thank you again <laughs> We'll see you out front. Love you guys.